All right. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Happy Sunday morning to you. And happy month of August. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Y feliz mes de agosto. Pastor Jose and Patricia, I welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. A church you can call home. Amen. And uh, we just want to uh, welcome all NBC family visitors and all joining us by audio or video. God bless you. Amen. And you know what? God has a great message. And he wants you to receive. Amen. You have to be in an attitude of receiving. Amen. Yeah. Receive what God has for you. He wants to bless you, encourage you, yeah. change you, and correct us sometimes. Yeah. Amen. But listen, the message today is going to be stay focused. Amen. Stay focused. Praise God. So grab your sword, some of your God, and say it like you mean it. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. Here's my sword. Where's yours? I'm going to dust it off some. <laughs> This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. I don't know about you, but that just makes me feel blessed. Amen. And uh, I've got a few things to read at you before we start. Staying focused and positive in a negative world. Amen. Have the peace of God with you. Amen. Have the peace of God. And you know, when somebody comes to you and brings you all these uh, problems, mm. instead of you going into the problem, have them come into your peace. Yes, yes. How come you always have peace? How come you're always smiling? How come you always have joy? Mm. You know, because the greater one is in me. Yeah. And you got to share that when it's time for you to share. They open the door and you can just come on in and say, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. He gives me the strength. He gives gives me what I need on a daily basis to yeah. continue. Amen. So praise God. Have the peace in your life. I've got a question for you. We know we can count on God and He's always there, but can He count on you? Amen. Can He count on you? He's given us a ministry of reconciliation. He's given us a ministry of helps yeah. where we can all come and assemble ourselves together and serve in his church. Serve his church. Amen. Amen. So praise God. We are the body of Christ and we can do this. Let me read you a, a, a scripture break. Mm -hmm. I put a scripture break on my timeline on Facebook on a daily basis. And we all take breaks. You know, we take coffee breaks. We take smoke breaks. We take uh, pee breaks. We take any, all kinds of breaks. Why, why not take a scripture break? You know, take a scripture break and let me see what I what I've got for you here. Let me read it to you. Oh, where you at? Where'd it go? Here we go. Power source. Who's your power source? <laughs> Jesus is a power source in your life. Your ability can only take you so high. Jesus is your power source. Why rely on anything else to energize your body, renew your soul, and strengthen your spirit? Mm -hmm. Jesus is the power source yes. you need in your life. Mm -hmm. Depend, rely, and lean totally on Him. You will not struggle. Stay focused, mm -hmm. stay positive, and yeah. stay close to Him and you will never stumble. That's it. Amen. Amen. He's always there for you. He's your power source. We go. I've got another uh, scripture nugget here I want to read to you. Stay focused. Stay connected to Jesus. Mm -hmm. If you go to John 15, chapter 15, verses 1 through 8, it talks about he is the true vine. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he's talking about, uh, well, let's go there right quick. This is not. John. Yeah. The book of John and verse uh, 15. Chapter, excuse me. Uh, chapter 15, verses 1, 1 through 8. I don't know about yours, but uh, mine says, Jesus, the true vine, says, I am the vine, you and my father, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he prunes it, mm. 
that it might bring forth much or more fruit. Now ye are trained through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abides in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. Now this, listen to this one. Verse 5 says, I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. But without me, you can do what? Nothing. Nothing. So we need him. You know, he's our source. He's our strength. Yes. We need him on a daily basis. Yes. You know, I need you on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. I need you every moment, every second of the day. Amen. And we can, the Bible says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Lord, I need your strength. I need you now. Each and every moment. Amen. So in verse 6 says if if a man abides not in me he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them in a fire and they are uh, burned if ye abide in me and my words abide in you you shall ask what ye will and it shall what be done unto you yes. amen and verse 8 says herein is my father glorified yes. that ye beareth much fruit so shall ye be my disciples amen. amen so praise god i just want to re read this to you it says staying connected to jesus troubles come yes. to everyone yet jesus is our power source yes. of all that is needed Philippians, that's i just read to you philippians 4 19 but he supplies all my needs according to his riches and glory by christ jesus when fears cares anxieties worries doubts uh come you know what Start to pull them down. Mm -hmm. You've lost your focus. You've lost yeah. your connection. You got unplugged. You know, just like the prodigal son. I want to go do my own thing. No, boy. no, no, no. Don't do that. Stay connected. Mm -hmm. Your power source. You know, we use uh, power tools all the time. Yeah. And brother here, he uses them all the time. <laughs> That's what he does. But you know what? That power tool, if it's not connected, it's not going to work. Yeah. If they don't have that battery to run it, it ain't going to do nothing. Yeah. It's just useless. It's just a heavy thing. Yeah. So we need to stay connected to Him. Yes, you know, without Him and being full-time Christians, if you're not connected to Him, mm. He says, you're nothing. Yeah. So I want to be something. I want to be great with Him. Amen? Yeah. So get yourself plugged in to the source of Jesus, <laughs> the yeah. source of faith, the source of love, the source of forgiveness, the source of health, patience, peace, and the source of hope. Amen. The source of all that you need. Stay connected to yes. Jesus. Amen. Amen. I mean, somebody needed that. Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't, I, I, I mean, I want to read it from me. <coughs> I, I need it. Yes. But anyway, we're going to stay focused in the positive and positive in the negative world. So have peace in this world. You cannot continue without Him. Yes, uh, let's go to Proverbs 18. We all know these scriptures, but that's okay. That's all we do. We teach from the Word of God. Amen. Yeah. Proverbs 18. And you already know where I'm going. Huh? Mm -hmm. And we all need to practice this on a daily basis. <coughs> we need to practice it on a daily basis. And I got three translations here. I want to read it to you. And I'm going to read it from the King James. Proverbs uh, chapter 18, verses 21. It says, death and life are what? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Mm -hmm. Okay, so death and life are in the power of the tongue. The power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So you have to guard your mouth. Mm -hmm. You got to guard your words. Mm -hmm. Amen. Taste them before you throw them out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not junk. God mm -hmm. created this world by speaking words. Yeah. So we have to remember this. Amen. We just can't just throw them out there. Yeah. Uh, Amplified says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, mm -hmm. or the words you speak. And those who love it will indulge in it, will eat its fruit, and bear the consequences of yeah. their words. Yeah. You, not somebody else. <laughs> You're waiting for somebody else for this to happen to them. But no, you. Mm -hmm. And uh, this translation says, words can bear can bring death or life mm. talk too much and you will eat everything 
you say. Sometimes it's good to read other translations. And then this translation says, listen to this, words kill. Words give life. They're either poison or fruit. You choose. You choose. So we've got to put that guard, keep that guard, and sometimes we got to zip the lip. Amen? Careful. You plant your garden, and you reap what you sow. Amen? Nobody, you plant the garden, you're going to grow you, whatever you planted. Same thing with the words you speak. You're speaking them, and you're going to grow whatever it is that you planted here. So we need to be more careful. I read this to you before, but it says, Children in the playground quote it saying, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That's a big lie. Mm -hmm. Amen. But children start singing it and saying those things from the time they're little. Mm -hmm. And we keep saying it. And we keep repeating these words and saying these words. Words will hurt you. Faith in Christ enables us to stay positive in a negative world. Watch your words, watch your actions. Speak positive things. Faith filled words. Amen. Praise God. Where do you find them? In the Bible. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. The positive testimony you bring others to Christ. Yeah. Amen. You have an awesome testimony. Most of you have an awesome testimony. God wants you to share. Mm -hmm. When he says share it, share it. Don't hold back. Some of us just hold back. He wants to use you. He put you here for a reason. And maybe he just wants you to share your testimony. Now is the time to do it. Amen. It's going to set somebody free. Yeah. Because God brought you through it. And now he's got you in a, in, in, a, in a good place. Staying positive or staying focused and positive in a negative world. We don't have to look far to see or find something negative. Right. People are quick to speak the negative oh, or the wow. problem mm -hmm. before they speak the positive uh -huh. or the truth. Yeah. You hear it all the time. Yeah. And you can tell <laughs> uh -huh. let me see how I want to say this. You can tell how mature you are on your Christian walk mm -hmm. by the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Because you just don't go around. Well, once we leave this building here, this church building, we can just say what we can say or want to say. No. Mm -hmm. We got to be careful not to do that. Amen? Right. So include ourselves first, our families, our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, our enemies for sure. Our church, beware, be careful. Our mission, we're the gospel church bringing good news of God to a lost world. We're not the gossip church. We're not just going to be here to gossip the things or say the bad things about people. Amen. We're the good news church. We're the gospel church. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> So we're positive, we're not negative. Speaking of negative is a problem that never helps. It keeps us in bondage. You know, things never change. Well, what are you confessing? Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. You're keeping yourself in that situation. You're keeping yourself there by the things you say. Mm -hmm. It's time that we mature and grow and let the Word of God change us. Amen. Grow from it. Amen. That's spiritual maturity. We're growing in the things of God. I don't want to say those things anymore. I used to say those things, and I could say them, but I won't say them. Why? Because I have matured. Amen? Speak the positive is the solution. Speaking the word says the truth. Speaking the word is the truth, and the truth is going to do what? It's going to set you free. Amen? Make all decisions each and every day to stay positive in spite of this negative world. People, circumstances, or distractions. Yeah. The enemy's going to see to it. You know, <laughs> since the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, oh, destroy. he walks as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. How is he going to devour you? Mm. Well, he's going to know because of thoughts yeah. or because of the words he speak. Amen. You open the door for him to come in. Nobody let him in except you. So you got to be careful say, I don't want him in my life. You know what happens when he comes in your life? He wants to rule you. He wants to take, take control. Amen? And we don't want that to happen. John 6, 30, 16, 33 says, 
And these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you may have peace. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you, he says, but in the world you may have tribulations. So be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So he says, in me you will have peace. So speak the word of God. And you're going to have peace. Amen. And not the tribulations. Keys to stay positive and stay in victorious daily is stay positive, stay focused, and have the right attitude. Yeah. Amen. Daily. Be victorious daily. Be victorious and not be a victim right. of the things you say. Amen. So what's what's what what's what's the attitude to have? A winning attitude. Yes. Amen. He's a winner. Jesus is our champion. He's a winner. So I'm going to have, Bible says in, in uh, Ephesians 5, um, 5, I think it's 5, 2. No, 5, 1. 5, 1 and 2. But it talks about, in the Amplified, it talks about being imitators of God. Being imitators yeah, of, of yes. Jesus. What am I going to copy? What am I, who's my role model? He is. Yeah. And I'm going to speak and say what he tells me uh -huh. and what his word says. And be positive and not negative. Amen? Amen. So let's remember that. Stay positive with the right attitude. Yes. Be victorious daily. Seek him first. Matthew 6, 33. Put the word of God first. Yeah. We gotta we have to make these changes if we want to change. Mm -hmm. If you keep doing the same thing, that's insanity. You're doing the same thing yeah. over and over and over and expecting different results. Yeah. It's not gonna happen because you're still doing the same thing. But if you make a change, I'm born again. So guess what? I'm on a daily basis. Seek Him first. Seek Him first. And things are going to change. Because I'm going to change. Because I'm going to mature in the things of God, in the Word of God. And I'm going to start speaking the Word of God. So I'm not going to be negative anymore. I'm going to be positive in the things of God. Amen? Speaking the Word of God. Refuse to quit when things get tough. <laughs> things get tough. You hear bad things every day. And it's tough out there. But you know what? The Bible says we can do all things through Christ. Amen. We can do all things through Christ. He says, Satan is under our feet. Jesus has already defeated him. We're fighting a defeated foe. When we learn these things, we're going to change. And we're going to be positive in speaking what the Word of God says instead of being speaking, speaking negative or repeating what the what the world says. Be careful and not to repeat all the negative things the world is saying. Amen? Praise God. Refuse to quit. Too many people want to quit. You know, I don't want to kiss this. I don't want to do this. And too many people take their lives and quit. Don't quit. He didn't make you to be a quitter. He made you to be a winner. Amen. Amen. He made you to be a champion. He says you can overcome all these things because I have overcome. Amen. We're overcomers. We're not quitters. Amen. Whew. When things get tough, the tough get going. You want some examples? Look at Jesus. When things got tough, he didn't back out. He went to the Father. I know I need your strength. I need you in my life. Amen. And he kept pressing on until the cross. At the cross, he could have told the Father, look what they've done to me. Just wipe them out. The Father would have wiped us out, would have wiped them out. But he didn't. He says, forgive them. Yeah. We need to do the same thing. He's our greatest example. And we're to be imitators of him. Amen? Amen. Come on now. Me, uh, Moses, David. Some Bible heroes God used. Only Jesus was perfect. The rest of them, they sinned, but God still used them. Yeah. Amen. Peter was ready to die. It says he wanted to fight. Jesus says, before the night's over, he said, you'll deny me three times. Amen. And he did. Did Jesus give up on him? No. no. He used them mightily to preach. Amen. And many came to the kingdom of God. Amen. Yeah. Because of him. Thousands came to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. So here's what you do. <laughs> Lord, I'm available. Use me. Yes. Be a participator, mm -hmm. not a spectator. 
just sitting back, seeing, looking, and judging. No, you're a participator. Get involved. You know, like this body here, you know, it's got all these parts to it. Mm. One body, many parts. And all these parts work together to make this body well, yeah. to do what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And we work and use everything together in unity. Yes. Amen. We need to do the same thing in the body of Christ. Yeah. Work together. Amen. Mm -hmm. Com complete one another. Mm -hmm. Help each other and not uh, compete against each other. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Be available. Participate. Submit. And commit. Lord, I'm submitting myself to you and I'm committing myself to you to fulfill what you have called me to do. He's calling yeah. you to do something. If you want to know what he's called you to do, then you need to know, go to the one that's called you, anointed you, amen, and yeah. equipped you. What is it you want me to do? Yeah. Amen, because he didn't call you to just come sit and spectate and do nothing. <laughs> <All> <laughs> you know, come on, oh wow. Also, so submit, commit, and here's the other, is get involved, mm. participate, get involved. I want to be involved, amen? Woo! Yeah. This is going to keep you going here. Stay hungry. Yes. I smell the food. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> stay thirsty. Yeah. Stay positive. Stay focused. Mm -hmm. And stay filled with Him. Yes. You know, the best thing to do is stay filled with Him. Amen. And you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because Good. you got to renew your mind to the yeah. things of God. Yeah. If you don't renew your mind, these things will happen. Yeah. Amen. Your flesh is just, your body, your flesh is just going to give in mm -hmm. and do nothing. You could have done something about it, but you didn't. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> Stand and continue to stand in Him. It tells us in Ephesians chapter 6 about putting the whole, whole armor of God, God, verses 10 through 18, about putting the full armor of God. You know what He did say? Take it off as a child of God. Keep, keep the armor on, and we need it on a daily basis. Amen? <laughs> we need it on a daily basis. He says, what, what are you going to do when you stand? What else do I do? Stand. He is with us. With God on our side, guess what? Mm -hmm. We we win. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, come on. See the good in all and not the fault. Mm -hmm. You know, we're so quick to speak the problem and put people down instead of speaking the good thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Speak the good in all. See the good in all and not just the fault. Mm -hmm. Remember to love, accept, and forgive. Yes. Remember that. <clears throat> The love and compassion of God is, is in you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Help me see people the way you see them. Yeah. He sees good in everybody. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son yeah. for them, not just you. That's right. <laughs> he sacrificed them also. They need to know the truth so yeah. that they can come out of this bad situation. Yeah. Amen. Be fishers of men. Mm -hmm. We get. We bring them. We reconcile them to God. He does the judge. He does the cleaning. Not us. <laughs> we want to do all that, okay? When you go fish for fish, you can do your own cleaning. And then, but when it comes to fishing for men, mm -hmm. let God do the cleaning. Yes. Amen. <laughs> yes. He does a better job. Uh, yes. Stop the negative talk. Stop the murmuring and stop the complaining. Yeah. It's not going to help anything. Mm -hmm. It's just going to keep you in the same cycle mm -hmm. of over and over and over, over you know, yeah. bad. Control your words. Mm -hmm. We've already said this. Guard your mouth. Zip the lip. Watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not only are you watching, the enemy is watching and he's yeah. listening. Yeah. Amen. People are watching and listening. Mm -hmm. They know that you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. So they're just waiting for you to fall. So they can jump and say something. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't get hung by the tongue. Mm -hmm. Think. Think. Think before you speak. Amen. And we, we know what we want to say. Oh, I just can't hold it. You know, I'm going to say it anyway. 
when you had a choice and you chose the wrong thing choose not to say it because Jesus yeah. could have said many things yeah. but he held his tongue yes, and he didn't do it he didn't say it we travel our whole life using words so why not be positive we frame listen this is man you need to write this down we frame our world mm -hmm. with the words we speak yes amen we frame our world with the words we speak so be positive and not negative <clears throat> i like this one taste your words before you spit them out oh. <laughs> or taste your words before you release them uh -huh. nobody can release your words except you uh -huh. amen so it's time we learn you know what's called maturity mm -hmm. <laughs> as we mature we don't say those things anymore i used to not anymore <laughs> again proverbs 18 21 new king james says death and life are in the power of the tongue or the words and those who love it will eat its fruit so this it bears fruit and you're going to get it talking about your mountain will not bring it down that's right what we need to focus on is god and his power to move <clears throat> speak god's word faith your words to those mountains those cares those worries those <clears throat> those problems the sickness mm -hmm. and don't let them speak to you that's it you may think it mm -hmm. but say wait a minute this is what the word of god says mm -hmm. there's a word of god against every negative thing mm -hmm. or just trying to stress you amen? amen and use the scripture and use the word of god to speak mm -hmm. to those mountains it says wait a minute you're not going to speak to me mm -hmm. i'm going to speak to you and i'm going to tell you what the word of god says mm -hmm. and you're going to get lost especially mm -hmm. the enemy bring all these things or people around you mm -hmm. that be me being negative i say no it's not going to happen so don't let them speak to you magnify your god and not the problem yes but we we have sometimes we, we we get that backwards you know we magnify our problem more than we magnify our god the world is speaking negative and magnifying all these problems uh -huh. that's happening right. and we join right in and start saying the same things mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and we bring bring it into the body mm. no magnify your god and not your problems amen yes praise god Again, yeah. Philippians 4, 6 says in the NIV, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition yeah. with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Amen. Amen. Philippians 4, chapter 6. I mean, excuse me, uh, chapter 4, verse 6. Mm -hmm. God wants you to have true peace by not worrying about anything. Right. Check this. Worrying is sin. It means you're not trusting him. You don't have faith. The more words you have in you, the more faith you have. The more words you have in you, the less fears you have. Because faith is going to drive fear out of you. Faith is going to drive the, the the worries and the cares out of you. Amen. So get you get in the word, study the word. Amen. Like to like it tells us. Verse 6 says, be anxious for nothing. about nothing. That means don't worry. Mm -hmm. And the word is anxious here. And the Greek says, don't be troubled with cares. Right. Lord, I'm, 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 it says cast it on him. Mm -hmm. Means throw it, give it to him. You know, like when you go dump your trash in the dumpster, you know. Mm -hmm. You just bring it in there and you just dump it. When you bring it to the, to the cross and you dump it and you give it to him and leave it there. Amen. Don't take it back. Say, wait a minute, it comes back. I'm thinking about it again. Uh-uh. Yeah. I've given it to him. Uh -huh. And I'm leaving it there and it's going to stay there. The enemy's going to see yeah. to it that, that he tries to repeat that. He say, no, I'm not taking it back. I left it there. He said, 1 Peter 5, 7, the NIV says, cast all Cast all your anxieties, all your cares on him because he cares for you. God has called us to fulfill our race, our mission. Yes. As we go about fulfilling, we must get rid of all cares and anxieties, all weights, and have the peace of mind. Yes. By doing this, 
we can stay focused we can stay positive in this negative world yeah amen so he's called everyone he's called every one of us those watching and those listening he's called you yeah. and he's equipped you he's at first he's called you he's anointed you and he's equipped you he's given you gifts talents and all these things amen but you have to go to him to find out you have to go to him and say lord here i am use me yeah have you ever said that <laughs> if you have he won't turn, he won't turn you down that's right amen he'll use you so get ready to be fulfilled to, to be committed to be involved and participate yeah. man praise god <laughs> hebrews 12 1 and 2 in the new living translation says therefore since we are surrounded by such a crowd of witnesses yes. to the life of faith let us strip off every weight uh -huh. that slows us down especially the sin that so easily tripped us yeah. amen and let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. Yes, Who said it before you? Mm -hmm. He did. Yes. The enemy's going to try to trip you, uh -huh. put distractions, put weights on you, and put all these things. Mm -hmm. and say, wait a minute. Strip off every weight that slows you down, especially the sin that so easily tripped you. Yeah. And let us run with endurance the race God has placed before yeah. us. I thought I'm ready to run this race for you. Be with me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, he's with you. And of course, Matthew 6, again, Matthew 6, 33 and 34 says, But see first what the kingdom of God is righteousness, and all these things will be given unto you as well. Mm -hmm. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Yeah. Each day has enough trouble of its own. That's it. <laughs> Amen. Each day. That's why we got to be mm -hmm. so focused. We got to be so positive. And we have to get up and spend time with him daily just to say, Lord, I need you this day. I need you each and every day to fulfill what you want me to do today. Yes. Amen. When we commit to him and seek him first. Yeah. Amen. And just say, well, you know, just give him a quick uh, hello and, and, and bye. And, and uh, you know what? The world's going to slam you quick. Mm. Amen. The world's going to bring you down fast. Yeah. And uh, you're going to say, you know what? I need you to spend more time with him. Mm -hmm. I needed more time with him. And sometimes we just got to be before him and be quiet and see what he wants to say to us. Yes. Amen. Yeah. But uh, we're going to have, the uh, Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Amen. It doesn't say if it's sunny, if it's rainy, if it's snowing or what. But this, this is a day. God has given me. He made this day for me. Now, what do I do with it? I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day you have given me. I want to fulfill what you've called me to do. Yes. And I can do all things through Christ. Thank things. you, Lord, for being with me. Amen. Amen. Woo, come on. <laughs> blessed, 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 blessed. John 14, look at 1. In the easy to read version, says, Jesus comforts his followers. Jesus says, don't be troubled. Don't be worried. Trust in God and trust in me. Yes. Yes. Trust him. You know, the more words you have in you, <laughs> the more you're going to trust him. The more words you have in you, the more faith you're going to have. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. John, that was John 14, 1. Yes. Uh, Proverbs 3, 3, 5, and 6. And the New King James says, Trust in the Lord with what? With all, all your heart. heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Mm -hmm. In all your ways acknowledge mm -hmm. him. And he shall direct your path. Yes. So yes. who do you want directing your path? Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. You want him directing yes. your path. Not somebody else. Not the world. That's it. You know sometimes. We have to be careful who we vent out to. Mm -hmm. Because they got more problems than you. Mm -hmm. And maybe they ain't not doing anything for themselves. Mm -hmm. And they try to tell you what to do. Yeah. Be, be, be careful. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 tells us what to do. Yes. Trust in Him with all your heart. All you, in His spirit. Yeah. And lean out in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. Yes. And He shall direct your path. Yes. Let Him be the steering wheel of your life. Yes. And not your spare tire. 
<laughs> and then <laughs> we haven't heard that in a while. But you know, some of us treat him like a spare tire. Yeah. Uh, you know, we know we all have a spare tire in our cars, and it's there for emergencies only, mm. and we only use it when needed. Mm. Well, don't treat Jesus that way. That's right. You put him; he's my spare tire. I only bring him out, you know, or call on him when I need him. Mm. No, on a daily basis, talk yeah. to him. I mean, he wants to be talked to. He says, "I come to talk to you." I come to visit with you. And I knock at your door, but you're not opening the door. This is all the time. This is not just once in a while. We're the ones that keep the doors closed. Yeah. We're the ones that don't want to open the doors. Uh. Amen. But he wants to he wants to sup with us each and every day. Yes. So we need to open the door and say, Lord, come on in. What is it you want me to do? What is it you have for me? What is it you want me to do? Come on. Let it be your steering wheel and not your spare tire. Yeah. Only when you need. God doesn't want you to worry because worry means that you don't trust Him. You're not taking Him fully at His word. And that's, 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 that's pretty bad. God has been providing for us all along. Yeah. Bible says Jesus paid it all. It's all paid in full. Yeah. Amen. He said he paid a debt he didn't owe. And we owe a debt we cannot pay. Amen. But we need to make ourselves available to him. Yes. So Lord, I'm yours. <laughs> I told you I was going to speak about joy. Joy, you know what joy means? Mm -hmm. Joy means Jesus owns you. Jesus owns you. <laughs> he owns you. Just remember that. Write that down. Jesus owns you. Yes. And sometimes... We ignore him. And we have to be careful. God wants you to, uh, to fill your heart with what is good. Amen. Amen. He wants to fill your heart and wants you to be uh, focused. He wants you to be positive and not negative. Amen. And we're going to be closing here in a few minutes. Uh, so what do I think on? Philippians 4, 8 tells us. He wants us to think on what is true. Honorable, right, pure, lovely, and good repute. Excellent, worthy of praise. Let your mind dwell on these things. God wants you to think and meditate on truly, purity, and excellence. Amen. So he wants us to do those things. Psalms 119.78 says, I will meditate on your precepts. The precepts of the word of God is true, purity, and excellence. So meditate on the word of God so that we can be transformed by renewing our minds he tells us in romans 12 1 and 2 to renew our minds and we don't do this uh once in a while we do it all the time because the world bombards you the, the world bombards you with million things and you hear these things and you're around negative people all the time so you need to renew your mind with the word of god yeah, amen. and think and do what the word of god tells you to do That's it. amen so let's re let's remember this renew our minds to the things of god yes. and don't stay focused on what the world is saying stay focused on what god wants you to do amen and this is the best way to stay focused god wants you to have true peace by putting into practice what you have learned amen and once again we're talking about spiritual maturity. Yes. We need to grow in the things of God. We can't stay spiritual babies for life. That's it. We have to grow in the things of God. Yes, we do. Amen. You, that's why, you know, when you read a scripture, it means something else to you. Mm -hmm. You graduated. You matured. You, the Lord opened your eyes. You opened your spirit to a new meaning of what yes. He wants to say in His Word. Yes. So we need to grow in the things of God. He yes. wants you to trust Him for everything. Yes. Again, uh, Philippians 4, 6, and A, the uh, letter A, be anxious for nothing. Pray to Him for everything. Yeah. Philippians, uh, Philippians uh, 4, 6, B says, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, yeah. present your request to God. Amen. Amen. So, man, this is, this is great. Yes, is. So, in closing, Amen. <laughs> It is faith in Christ that enables us to stay focused 
to stay positive in a negative world. Amen? So faith in Him. Since without faith, it is impossible to please Him. So we need to have our faith. Amen? Overcome this world by the blood of the Lamb. Jesus and a positive testimony will bring others to Christ. Remember, each and every one of us have the ministry of reconciliation, bringing people here to the body of Christ. Amen? To the world. To, to, to Jesus. Revelations 12 and 11, you can write this down. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony, yes. and they did not love uh, their lives to death. Mm -hmm. So watch your words and your actions. Mm -hmm. Speak faith-filled words. Zip the lip, guard your mouth. Taste your words before you speak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> before you speak them out. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay positive. Stay focused, stay positive in a negative world. Yes. Don't join the crowd. And don't copy the world. Be the original God made you to be. That's Study, it. meditate, renew your mind with the word of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Praise I hope that uh, uh, blessed you. It blessed yeah. me. Amen. Yeah. I, I read it. I study it. And I read it. And it blesses me. And when I bring it to you, it brings a new meaning to me. And it blesses me again. Amen. So I hope it does the same for you. Amen. Yeah. So thank you, Father, thank for your you, precious word. Amen. Thank you. Whew. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, some of you that are watching, some of you listening, you may never accept Christ. You know, so we don't want to close. We give you an opportunity. You know, for you to say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. Hook yourself up with a, a church where it's Bible-based. They study the word and teach the word, amen? Yes. And hook up and start doing it for Jesus, amen? He is never too late. That's right. And it's never too late. So now is the time, amen? If you're hurting somewhere, if, if you need healing, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Amen. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And we more than our sickness in our bodies. Yes. Father, thank you for your people, Lord. Touch them yes. right now, Father God. And thank you that by Jesus Christ they are healed. So body receive your healing right now. And we receive it now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. And it's time again. So those of you that are watching, so those of you that are listening and would like to give, if you see the screen up here, it tells you go to our website, nbcbigben.com and hit that donate button, please. Amen. And those of you that are mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And we just want to say God bless you and we love you. Amen. Praise God.